there everybody, it's Mark Crowley. I'm back with another How to Draw video. Today we're going to be talking about using photo reference. Right here I have a photo that I took uh, of a tree in my neighborhood that had this really interesting root structure that I thought would um, make a good basis for a fantasy illustration. I'll be talking more about that uh, in a minute. But I want you to have a better look at this. This is just a paper printout of the photo. I'm going to splice in the original photo right now, fill the whole screen so that you can get a better look at it. So there you go, that's the original photo, and even right now we're zoomed in way closer than I'm going to be throughout the video. Let's refocus the camera now so that I can get started on the illustration. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, this drawing, and I should mention that I've done one video previously um, about uh, using photo reference. I will link to that uh, in the uh, description below. Uh, that one was showing a sort of street scene in Japan of using a photo and showing how that, uh, that helped me to get the details right. And similarly, I'm going to be using this um, uh, photo of the tree trunk to help me get the details right uh, in drawing uh, this tree. And my idea, and it's not original to me, and it's been done a lot over the years, is to have uh, a sort of a doorway, like a fairy door that has been built right into the um, surface of the tree. Um, something about this sort of knotted root work as I looked at it inspired me and I thought, oh boy, that would be really awesome as uh, doing one of these uh, uh, fairy doors if, if I'm using the right term there. So I'm going to go ahead and start sketching in actually where the door is supposed to be and that's going to help me um, decide how to alter the root structure to sort of work around this door. And, you know, when you use photo reference, uh, it's different from copying the photo completely. Um, photo reference is more about you're sort of leaning on the photo for the certain details to get the structure right, but you, you're working on a drawing all your own and you're not forcing yourself to uh, copy each and every thing that you see in the original photo. Um, I'm just taking a little extra time here to try to get the basic structure of this uh, doorway. As I said, I want the roots to sort of move around, sort of sweep around. There seemed like I sort of imagined as I looked at it, well, there looks like there's space for a door right there. So here's my idea, is I'll start to come in here and uh, create a little series of steps, almost, that lead up to the doorway. So all of this area in here is maybe not exactly identical to what is shown uh, in the photo, but the, uh, the, the surrounding things will become more and more uh, based on what uh, we see. So I've kind of figured that area of it out. Now let's get more into stuff that you actually see in the original photo, like over here. Uh, we can see that this uh, it divides into two different roots. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy that a little, that sort of uh, structure, and this is going to help me start to get into the, uh, the authenticity of real root structure uh, in my drawing. That I, I, for one, would not have been able to come up with just from my imagination or from memory. Now, someone who draws a lot of uh, tree trunks like this uh, for years and years, maybe they do reach a, a stage where they can kind of uh, uh, do all of this from memory. They've sort of memorized the natural um, structural tendencies. Does that make sense? I, I sound like a scientist. The natural structural tendencies of the roots. Uh, but they start to memorize what looks, what will look natural w versus what won't. Uh, right here, I don't know if you can see, it's quite small, but there's like this little gap here between um, one part of the root and the other, and I'm, I'm going to get that into my drawing. And that's just one of many little details that uh, over time I can work into this uh, picture. And by the time I'm done with it, hopefully it is a fantasy a uh, drawing that has a certain air of reality to it because it was based on real trees. And I think even the guys uh, or gals who are able to draw a tree completely from memory, they started by looking at uh, actual trees, whether it's in real life or from photos, and that's how they um, gradually reached a point where they could 
uh, memorize it. Now I've talked about this a lot in other videos, but I can't assume that everyone has seen uh, every video I've done, so I'm going to just say it again now. Uh, I encounter a lot of um, uh, a lot of young artists in particular who have been taught or who have come to the conclusion themselves that uh, looking at something while you draw it is somehow wrong or uh, a sign of inferiority as an artist uh, that it's it's automatically better to uh, draw everything from memory and they're always sort of saying, hey look I did this without looking at anything. Um, and um, I'm always wanting to come along as uh, someone who's done this professionally for a number of years and say, hey, you know, professionals are using reference a lot. Not every single artist does, but uh, a lot of professionals do. And um, I sort of feel it's my duty, <laughs> in a way, to uh, get the word out about that because I, th I think a lot of you know, young artists may be like, man, I just, every time I try to draw a tree, it looks terrible, but I can't look at a photo of a tree. That's cheating, you know, or that's only bad artists do that, you know. And I, I want to be the person who tells you, look, you know, if you want to get the details of a tree right, look at a tree. <laughs> look at a photo of a tree. This is how any uh, artist who's really wants authenticity in the drawing, this is how they do it. They look at uh, reference. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little break from the gabbing, much to the relief of my audience. I'm going to finish up this sort of basic stage of getting the root structure in place, and then maybe I'll come back and talk about adding details. Alright, so as you can see, um, you know, I'm giving myself a fair amount of leeway to stray from what is uh, in the photo, and yet certain key little details were inspired by the photo. For example, there's like a sort of X-shaped uh, thing here, and you can see it right there. The line's much uh, straighter in the original uh, illustration. I'm trying to get this sort of knotted, um, you know, almost snake-like uh, characteristic in here. So I'm allowing myself to alter things, and I think that's one of the keys to using reference, is that, you know, your concept is king, and that's what you really are going for. The, the photo is there to help you as a sort of stepping stone, and I, if the photo is not giving me what I want, then I ignore the photo. Um, <laughs> it makes me feel like the photo feels bad. You're ignoring me. Look, I'm sorry, photo but I'm trying, I just have to get this drawing done. Anyway, um, one thing that is interesting, like here in the original photo, there, there is, uh, that, that part of the root structure was a, a big bulging area, and I just didn't want that in terms of the shape, the contour uh, of my illustration. Also, to be honest, wanted to make space for this picture. Uh, so I allowed myself to really alter that substantially. Uh, but like even a little um, piece of... Uh, a little piece of plant life, is that what this is? Uh, is inspired by actual stuff uh, there in the video. Now I talked about, in the video, <laughs> in, oh boy, more coffee, Krilly, in the original photo. But what I want to add now is mushrooms. I thought uh, there's no uh, better thing to add to one of these uh, fantasy illustrations than a bunch of these nice, beautiful, uh, colorful, maybe I'll make them uh, bright red. I'm going to be adding uh, color to this in a bit. I'm going to add uh, watercolor and then do final line work. Uh, uh, those of you who came to this video hoping to learn how to draw trees, I hope you won't be disappointed. That's not really what this is. It's more about uh, using photo reference in general. Uh, but if you would like me to, to do a sort of step-by-step -step, uh, video on drawing trees, let me know in the comments section. I could certainly uh, do that. But really this is meant more to maybe give you a, an inspiration for how you might use um, photo reference, whether it's for a drawing of a tree or uh, something completely different. Uh, all of these principles hold true, I think, in terms of the, uh, uh, the photo giving you a good starting point and then periodically 
as you go along, you're altering things uh, to get the result you want. Well, as I said, I want to add a little color to this, and so I'm going to do that right now, all uh, with watercolor. Not going to be uh, talking about this in a step by step way, just going to be doing it <laughs> all in time lapse, but maybe I can come back and uh, give a few pointers after I've completed this part uh, if, of the illustration process. Okay, so that takes care of most of the watercolor stage. I'm coming in with my trusty black Prismacolor to start to add uh, some line work. And as I do, I want to talk a little bit about how uh, I, you know, strayed uh, deliberately from the photo uh, in a lot of ways, even in terms of adding color. Uh, in the original photo, you can see tiny little patches of grass here and there. I wanted a much more lush environment, and so... Gosh darn it, that's what I did. I just decided to start adding in green uh, in between uh, every one of these uh, uh, roots and just sort of, you know, go my own way and make a, a, a much more verdant, is that the right word, <laughs> environment than what I saw um, there by the curb. Uh, and I wanted to point out, because some people may look at a photo like this and say, wow, man, you're lucky that you have... Uh, a really interesting tree like that nearby. We I don't have any tree uh, like that near where I live. Well, you might be surprised. This actually is a very ordinary neighborhood tree. Uh, once you look up at the rest of it, it's tall and straight and just uh, quite typical. Uh, and a lot of times we are passing by these kinds of amazing root structures every day just because we're not paying attention. Uh, so if you, uh, by chance, want to get reference for uh, tangled roots and so forth. Uh, of course, you can look for them online, but you might be surprised to find that they are right there uh, beyond your doorstep once you open your eyes and start looking for them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up with the line work here, um, maybe bring out uh, a touch of other colors of colored pencil beyond my black Prismacolor, and uh, yeah, finish this up and be back with a few final words. All right, well, there's my video on using photo reference. I really hope you found it useful. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you'd like to see more such videos. Let me know if you'd like a video that teaches you how to draw trees in a step-by-step -step way. Let me know if you'd like me to do an entire video talking like I came from Brooklyn. <laughs> but for now, I want to say thank you to anyone who supported me by getting my books like The Drawing Lesson, The Realism Challenge, Manga Art, my very latest book, and of course Mastering Manga. I'm always super grateful. This time of year, hearing from people who have asked for these books as Christmas gifts, thank you so much for doing that. But for now, let me go ahead and lay down this pencil. I want to say thank you to all of you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one real soon. <laughs>